Hello, Detective Oscar Winning here again with another three minute mystery. Let's see if you can figure this one out. So, in the quiet village of Little Questing, there was trouble brewing all over some trees at the back of the houses on Posey Lane. Now you see, neighbours Joyce and Hector Rowlings had grown the trees at the back of their garden to protect the privacy, but they'd grown so tall it meant that the neighbours at the back of the property were left with little to no shut sunlight at all and multiple shadows. Eric and Deborah, their next door neighbours, John and Sue as well, had asked repeatedly for Joyce and Hector to cut down the trees, but their requests had always been ignored. Now, arguments broke all over the street, and when they went to go tackle Joyce and Hector about the trees, Hector called the police and claimed that Eric had made a threat to their lives over the trees, a claim that has always been denied by Eric and Deborah. But one day, an apple pie arrived in the hands of Sue as a sort of peace offering to Hector and Joyce. And later that afternoon, Eric arrived at Joyce and Hector's door with an apology and some of his slow gin that he knew both of them enjoyed. Now, both gifts were accepted and enjoyed that very evening, but the next morning, Joyce discovered Hector's dead body in their bed. It seemed he had been poisoned, and immediately suspicion fell on the neighbours Sue and John and Eric and Deborah. Was the poison in the slow gin or the apple pie? Joyce revealed the couple had finished the apple pie with ice cream for dessert after dinner, and later that evening they had enjoyed a slow gin poured over ice. The apple pie was gone. The slow gin glasses had been washed up, but there was a little left in the small bottle, and there seemed to be no poison in that at, at all. Joyce pointed the finger at the two neighbours, claiming their sudden goodwill gestures must have killed Hector, and that they had been planning to bump her off too. But the investigation revealed no poison in either Sue or John's home, nor Eric and Deborah's. So who was it? Time passed and I was called in to look over the cold case. Suspicion still lay with uh, Eric and Deborah and John and Sue. Joyce sold up the house and decided to move out quickly and the new neighbours decided to cut down the trees. All seemed well, but Joyce was now a widow and Hector was still dead. I uh, caught up with Joyce as she prepared to board a cruise to ask her about that night. Had she tasted anything off in the pie? Certainly not. Had she uh, taken ill that night? It appeared not to be the case. And why has she moved on so quickly? Because she couldn't face uh, living near the people who she blamed for Hector's death? Joyce recalled nothing untoward that evening. They had eaten dinner, she had served the apple pie and the ice cream, giving Hector the largest share. Then she had poured the slow gin over ice, just as Hector liked it. Someone had poisoned Hector, and I knew who'd done it. Do you?